us who build General Motors cars, to all of you, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The popular image of the motorcyclist in action is a stereotype, the gunning engine, the screech of rubber on cement. But Harold Dow visited one motorcycle shop in California and found it music to his ears. If you're ever in the neighborhood of Joe Coon's motorcycle shop in Long Beach, California, stop in. The people here will be glad to show you Hondas, Kawasaki's, a pipe organ, BMWs, Suzuki's, and all the parts it takes to keep them running. Wait a minute. A pipe organ in a motorcycle shop? That's right. It's a theater-sized pipe organ located in the middle of the service department. And when this store closes down on Saturday nights, almost magically, it comes to life. This is not your average motorcycle shop crowd. No Hells Angels, no leather jackets. Even though there are plenty of motorcycles around and the occasional smell of grease in the air, many who come here don't even notice. Well, I never think about the motorcycles, but... <laughs> a motorcycle shop? I don't even see the motorcycles. I, I guess they're here, but I, all I see is that organ and this wonderful place and this wonderful crowd. And the reason they're all here is because Joe Coons had a dream, a dream kept alive by his wife. Spud, they call her. He was always interested in pipe organs, and I know when we were first married, he said, someday I'm going to own a pipe organ, and I thought, oh. Joe Coons died three years ago, but before he left, he built this organ, complete with 2,000 pipes, chimes, a rhythm box, tubas, and many, many extras. In all, it cost him around $35,000. Joe Coons had a love affair with the pipe organ, and when he was alive, he would let anyone play who knew how. I've seen these theater organs in, in large theaters, and even people have them in their homes, but a motorcycle shop is a little hard to believe. Lieutenant Colonel Moleman came all the way from New Jersey to help celebrate Christmas here. And so, during this holiday season, it's not the sounds of engines roaring, but instead, it's the sounds of Christmas coming from Joe Coon's motorcycle shop. Dow, CBS News, Long Beach, California. And that's the way it is. Monday, December 22nd, 1980, the 415th day of captivity for the American hostages in Iran. This is Walter Cronkite, CBS News. Good night.